In this video, we'll have a look at how to set up WooCommerce memberships by AOVUP. Let's get straight into it. OK, so on our membership site, we've got a few areas which is restricted to only paying members. And I think some's accessible to all members, right? So first, let's have a look at this website in a private browser. If we view the course page here, currently it's showing that there's nothing there. If we view the downloadables page, again here, it's prompting us that we need to purchase our monthly or lifetime plan to be able to access this page. If we actually go to the shop page as well, there's certain products which are restricted to paying members only, right? Okay, so for example, this being a product here, as you can see, can only be purchased by members. And if we want to purchase this particular product, we need to purchase this product first, right? To access this membership. So really here, we, I should have changed the copy and we'll change the copy um, as we actually set this up throughout this video. So if you want to restrict access to a particular page or custom post type or or even products, then this video is for you. And to do so, we'll be using the AOVUP memberships plugin. So you can head over to AOVUP.com, go ahead and download. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the AOVUP memberships plugin, the next step is to upload and install that plugin. Once you've done so, we'll go ahead and create our memberships plan. So we'll head over to AOVUP. And then memberships for reference, I'm using the AOV up all access package, right? So I've got access to create recurring memberships, right? Whereas if you choose a basic one, then you can only create like one off plans, right? Meaning someone pays a one time fee and then they've got access to your membership for X amount of duration. If you want the recurring subscription, you will need an all access plan for that. The first thing we want to do is actually create our memberships plan. So we'll head over to memberships plan here. And then we can just click add new membership and then we can just give it a title. So for example, this can be our VIP plan. And then when we scroll down, we get to choose how we want to enroll members into this membership. So we can manually enroll them or we can enroll them automatically when they register to our site. This is recommended for when you've got like a free tier, then you want to use this feature. However, what I recommend is that we enroll them based on a product that they've purchased, right? And to do this, all we need to do is just click add new and then we'll click product here we're basically creating a product that the customer need to purchase in order to be enrolled into that membership automatically so here we can just say vip we're going to make this into a subscription product here where it says product type we'll just select simple subscription and then we'll say it's a 49 dollars a month membership it's billed monthly and we want to give them a 14 day free trial and then we'll automatically build them this 49 dollars right so that looks fine now let's just hit publish when we navigate back over to this page we can search for that vip product which we've just created right which is this one here we get to choose whether we want to auto enroll them or if we want to manually approve the account before we actually enroll them onto that particular plan if we choose yes then the admin will need to approve each member before they actually get access to anything right and we can exclude certain roles from this particular flow so i'm just going to select a no here meaning if they purchase this vip product then we'll just automatically enroll them onto this membership and here where it says rules we get to choose which content they get access to right so for example we can say here if you've got any custom post types or any custom taxonomies then it will display here automatically right but for example pages we can say they get access to our downloadables page and then we can just keep adding different rules here if we want as well we can drip the content so let's say since we're doing a 14 day free trial maybe we want to give them access to some content and then for the rest of the content we will release that after their free trials over right so here we can say specify a time and then here we can probably say they'll get access to this downloadables page after 14 days for example right and then we can just keep stacking different rules since this is an e-commerce store, we can actually automatically provide them with a discount for being a part of this particular member, right? So this is useful. So we can say on a particular product, we can give them X discount or X dollars off or a particular category. We can give them, we'll select the categories here and then we can say they can get 10% off, right? For being a member of this particular plan. On their memberships dashboard, we get to choose which 
tabs we want to display so content will display all the exclusive content that they've got access to and then products will show them all the exclusive products they've got access to and then any discounts and then in notes um, created by the admin will display on their dashboard as well we've got this manage button so they can manage their membership so one thing which we glossed over here is the membership length so since this is a subscription product here we want to choose unlimited right meaning it will automatically go with whatever the membership status is so if the memberships expired then it will automatically expire their membership here right so specific length or fixed days typically you'd only want to use this when it's not a subscription product right so if it was just a one-time fee then maybe we want to say they'll get access to this membership for one year for example right but again since it's a membership here we just want to set this to unlimited right so once we're happy with everything we can just go ahead and hit publish right and another thing to note as well so we don't necessarily need to add all the restrictions here let's say for example it's creating a new post so let's just click add new post here the same applies for product page and so on right and even custom types as well so on the page we'll see this area here which says content restriction and then for example this particular page that we're creating we can say only our VIP plan members will get access to this particular page. We'll be able to view it, right? And then again, we can say to get immediate access or we can drip the access over time as well. Since we're using the Gutenberg block, it's the same for Elementor as well. We've got a custom integration with Elementor. We can just search for memberships here right and we can say member content and then here we can display exclusive content so let's say this is a video let's add one of our youtube videos here all right so this particular video here will only be visible so let's click this lock icon let's, let's show this sidebar here and then now we can say this particular section will only be visible to members of our vip plan again we can delay access or give immediate access and we can customize the restriction message or we can use the default message as well now that we've created our plan let's have a look at a few general settings that you might want to configure right so let's just navigate over to settings okay and then for general so currently the restriction mode is set to hide content only right meaning we will display a message just to let them know they don't have access to it right or we can just hide it completely meaning if someone access a restricted product or page they'll just see a 404 error or we've got the option to redirect them to a pricing page for them to sign up and become a member so those are the three options we've got currently um, you can just scroll through all the different options it's self-explanatory we can create a default use the role for whenever a customer enrolls in the membership plan we've got it on our roadmap as well to add this feature to each individual plan meaning um, when a customer signs up to a different plan we can assign them a different role according to that plan right so i think that would be super useful all right so we can customize the messages here so these are the default restriction messages that a customer will see um, other things to note is on the members here, we get to see an overview of all our members. If there's a member pending, there'll be a pending tab here. You'll also get an email as well, to let you know that there's a member pending that you need to approve or reject. We can click on the members profile. We can export or import our member list and we can add custom profile fields to our membership accounts, right? So let's have a quick look at how it looks to log in as a member. So I'm just going to navigate over to the my account area and here we can navigate over to my memberships all right and here you can see i've got a lifetime membership plan and these are the different content that i've got exclusive access to if we click on products it's a similar thing if there's any exclusive products assigned to this membership i don't believe there's any discounts and there's no notes left by the admin so we can click manage so we can see that our membership status is currently active and there's no expiry date on this one because there was none set for this membership plan, right? We can cancel our membership and this is just a basic overview of our WooCommerce memberships plugin.